नमो नम संस्कृते विज्ञान विचारशक्तिता हार्द स्वागत कौमी अहम मानस बांधव अद वह चर्चा कूम सूर्य सकलशक्ते आधार विषय अस्म विषय विचार उपस्थापति एक विज्ञान शिक्षिका या विज्ञान शास्त्र सम्यक अधीतवती विज्ञान पढ़ि स्वर्ण पदक प्राप्तवती अतः तस् स्वागत कूम सास्ती हासीना भूई महोदय अस्मिन विषय तैतरीय आरण्यक वदति आदो वयम तत् शुणुम क्षत्र Thank you, Dr. Manas Ranjan Sahu, sir, for giving me this opportunity to speak about science in Sanskrit. Namaskar, dear friends. I am Hasina, and I welcome all of you to this first session of science in Sanskrit. Almost everything we need in our daily life needs energy. Our home, our school, hospitals, industries. means of transport everything required energy in fact every activity requires energy we can classify this energy as renewable sources and non renewable sources so renewable sources include solar hydro wind tidal geothermal and biogas and the non renewable sources of energy include It is, it is also known as fossil fuel that is coal petroleum and natural gases so without this solar energy there will be no other kind of energy sun is the ultimate source of various fuels so now let's understand how sun is the ultimate source of various fuels like coal petroleum and natural gas this coal and petroleum natural gas they are also known as fossil fuels they come from the dead remains of living organism and they are derived from plant and animal whether it is plant or animal they are directly or indirectly dependent upon the sun plant get their energy from sun and animal are directly or indirectly dependent upon the plants so if there will be no plant and no animal there will be no fossil fuels so sun is the ultimate source of various kind of fuels now let's understand how sun is the ultimate source of hydrogen energy so we know evaporation is the process in which water changes to water vapor sun causes evaporation of water from different water bodies then that evaporated water from clouds and comes down as rain or snow this is also known as water cycle water cycle is possible due to the presence of sun so the water run, runs down from the mountains to see resulting hydro energy thus sun is the ultimate source of hydro energy now let's Understand how sun is the ultimate source of wind energy. So wind means moving air. Sun hits the air all evenly in different places, and due to the heating of sun, the warm air on getting heated rises up, and the cold air from the surrounding rushes into take its place, resulting in wind or wind energy. Now. Let us understand how sun is the ultimate source of bioenergy. So, all of us have learned about photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process in which the solar energy is converted to chemical energy by plants. And plant cannot survive without photosynthesis. So. the solar energy get converted into chemical energy and that chemical energy is circulated in 
the food chain. The herbivores they are directly dependent upon the plants, and the carnivores they are dependent upon the animal, and the omnivores both are dependent upon the they are dependent upon the plant as well as the animals. So soil is the ultimate source of bio energy. Solar energy present in living beings. The fact that sun is the source of energy is known to Indians from Vedic period. The world is due to sun god. The living being get their strength and energy from him. The fact is mentioned in Taitreya Arunyakam. Sun is the ultimate source of all energy on earth. Dhanyavadaha punar milam.